be blessed by the divine anger is a vile emotion that wreaks havoc on individuals and even on nations the bulk of the wars recorded in history have resulted from anger either immediate or harbored over a long period of time as far as the metabolism of the physical body is concerned anger builds up blood pressure strains the heart muscles and interferes with the secretion of gastric juices a great deal of life energy is squandered when a man gets angry that is the reason why he feels exhausted after an outburst and yet throughout his life man slips into the grip of anger again and again why this disastrous weakness it is because no systemized practice is available to him through which he can tackle anger that precious practice shall be unfolded in the course of this analysis anger or any other emotion overwhelms man only when he is in a state of forgetfulness awareness and emotion are mutually exclusive When one does yoga one increases and maintains awareness awareness means soul consciousness each individual is really the consciousness limited by all the experiences imprinted in the particles of the life energy to fulfill that purpose one has a physical body as a useful instrument as a vehicle a body is really a very appropriate and efficient instrument bestowed upon one by the almighty So one should always be in the consciousness of the soul when soul consciousness is developed there will be no emotion at all whenever and wherever soul consciousness is forgotten emotion will come emotion does not come from the outside each individual transforms himself into emotion when intoxicated by sensual activities how does anger arise in man when he experiences a need he looks for some commodity or facility to balance that need if there is an obstruction to his effort he tries to remove it with force if the obstruction stands firm to ordinary force more force is used when then if the obstructing person or thing is unyielding man becomes intolerant unmindful of the consequences of his action the thwarted man increases his force even more in his effort to remove or destroy the obstruction it is precisely this mood which is called anger whenever an individual finds an obstruction to his enjoyment he becomes angry with either another person or other material in the early stages anger comes with reasonable cause and it affects only the concerned parties Sometimes however anger works above and beyond those concerned and gets disproportionate to the cause when one allows free rein to anger again and again it becomes a psychic disease be blessed by the divine subscribe to our youtube channel and visit simplifiedkundaliniyoga.com to begin your journey of consciousness today